Hi, welcome to Rec U2. I am Danny Willis and I am the fitness program manager, but also I'm teaching Pilates. So come and join me. All you need is a mat, possibly a gliders. If you don't have gliders, use your socks and hardwood floor. That works too. Or you can use carpet and uh, a towel or a paper plate. So yeah, come join me. So we're just gonna start off with some breathing exercises. You're more than welcome to place your hand on your stomach. Okay, those shoulders are back and down. Chest is open. We're taking a nice deep inhale, expanding at our abdomen and exhaling, releasing all that air. Bringing our belly button to our spine. We're gonna do that two more times. Nice deep inhale. And exhale, releasing all your air. Bringing that belly button to our spine. Last breath right here, nice deep breath. And slowly release. Bringing that belly button to our spine. Nice job. Okay, so we're gonna focus on our pelvic alignment here. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna focus on tucking our pelvis under, making sure it's aligned with our hips here. So if you have a little curvature in your back, go ahead and just tuck it under. And we're gonna hold that right there. So throughout our practice, make sure you're holding your pelvis as it is right here. And we're just gonna go through a little small little squat and then we're just gonna circle our arms back. And we're just gonna do one arm at a time. You can follow that arm with your eyes if you like. Taking a nice little dip in your knees. Not, we're keeping our breaths here. So inhaling, exhale as you circle that arm back. Good, let's do three more. Two more on both sides. Last one on both sides. Nice job. We're gonna take it into a nice deep squat. Hands are on top of our feet and we're just gonna take it into a hamstring stretch. So just go ahead and be mindful of the areas that are tight. You're more than welcome to rock side to side here at the bottom. Really just trying to open up your hips. Inhaling here at that squat. Exhale as we're coming up into that hamstring stretch. Let's do two more. Perfect, last one. We're gonna hold it at the bottom of that squat and we're just gonna alternate our arms here, rotating at that torso. We're just going as deep as you can into that squat right here once again. Let's do two more. Last one, perfect. We're gonna come out of that squat. Go ahead, shake out your legs a little bit. Okay, we're gonna start off with a squat here. I know we just finished some, but we're going to go ahead and tuck that pelvis back under. We're gonna go ahead and go into a squat. Knees are aligned with our ankles. Okay, we're just going right here. As we're squatting down, we're lifting those arms up just to about ear level and then taking it back down. Whenever you're ready, just hop on in. We're gonna do it for 12. We're at eight right here. Seven. Six. Five. <sighs> Exhale as you're coming out of that squat. Four. Three. Two, last one, and one, perfect. We're gonna hold it here into that squat, and we're gonna pulse it right here, slightly up and down. We're 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and walk it out, pat your legs if you need to. Okay, we're gonna start back at that squat again. Catch your breath. We're taking it back into that squat. You guys ready? Okay, perfect. We're going here. Once again, knees and ankles are aligned with each other. We're lifting those arms up to about ear level, then taking it back down. 
Inhaling here at the top. Exhale as you are coming out of your squat. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep it going. We got six more. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it here at the bottom, pulse it out. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come out of that squat. Perfect. Okay, if you don't mind, make your way to the floor, the wood part of the floor here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into that squat position. We're gonna put all of our weight into one leg and we're gonna just move that leg back and forth, okay? We're gonna hold that position. Whenever you guys are ready, make your way to the wood floor here and we're just using either your socks. If you need to, you could always grab a glider. We're gonna switch it to the opposite leg, same thing here. We're in that squat position, shifting all that weight to one leg and we're just going back and forth. Got it here for 10, nine, eight, seven. We should be gliding that foot across the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Go ahead and stand out of that movement here. Nice, go ahead and shake it out if you need to. Walk those legs out. Okay, our next exercise, we're just gonna do side lunges here. You're more than welcome to take it back onto your mat. Okay, once again, shoulders are down, chest is open, tucking that pelvis under. We're going as low as we can into that side lunge. Okay, and then we're switching it. Knees, once again, are aligned with our ankles. We're swooping those arm around in a circle in front of us as we're going down into that lunge. Inhaling here at the top. Exhale as you come out of that side lunge. Good, keep it here. Getting as deep as you can with each side lunge here. So I want you to try to go deeper every time you go down. Let's do it for 10 more, 10. Nine. Eight. Those shoulders are burning. Keep it going, don't stop. Five. Four. Three. Almost done. Two. And one. Nice job. Roll those shoulders back. Shake it out if you need to, okay? We're going back to that first exercise that we just did. So we're holding those arms up at ear level and we're just gliding that foot across the floor, okay? If you don't have a glider or if you don't wanna be on that floor, you don't have to, you can just step your leg back instead, okay? But we're here for 10. Go ahead and start whenever you guys are ready. Good, we're stepping back. Holding that leg here in that 45 degree angle. Arms are up. We're feeling that in our shoulders. We're feeling that in our quads as well. We got it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. I have to do a little shoulder shimmy. My shoulders are burning. And we switch it to the opposite side. Same thing, holding that arm up. And then we're just coming here, gliding that foot across the floor or your mat. Go ahead and start whenever you're ready. We got it here for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Check out those arms. I'm gonna massage your shoulders if you need to. Perfect, we're taking it back into that side lunge here. So once again, our legs are about at a straddle. Shoulders are back and down, chest open. 
And we're going down into that side lunge, circling those arms in front of us, and then taking it back to that start position. Getting as low as you can. We're working those inner thighs and our quads right now. Good, once again, we're inhaling at that start position. Exhale as we're coming out of that side lunge. We're gonna do it for 10 right here, 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, we're almost done. Six. Five, keep it going. Four, I'm right here with you, keep it moving. Three. Two, and last one on both sides. One. Nice job. Check it out. Roll those shoulders back. Okay. You're going to come here to the end of your mat, wherever you are. Come to the end of your mat here. Perfect. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to have those shoulders back, chest up. We're going to come down into a forward fold. We're going to walk those hands out until we're in a plank, okay? We're gonna hold that plank here. We're gonna take it down to a push-up, come all the way up, walk those hands back up to your feet, okay? So that's what we're gonna do for our next one. Y'all ready? Okay, let's go ahead and start. We're holding it here, walking our hands down into that plank, hold that plank, push-up, and walk it on up, perfect. And we're starting back all the way up in that standing position, walking those hands out until we're in that plank. Push up here at the bottom, walk your hands back on up. We're gonna do it for 10. If you need to, you can always take that push up to your knees instead. We're halfway there, keep it going. Going at your own pace here. Whatever pace you need, if you need to go slow or fast, as long as you're doing the workout. You guys are doing great. We got three more. Two more right here. Last one. Perfect, whenever you're done, just stay here at the bottom. We're gonna hold a plank right here. You can either hold that plank on your knees, on your toes, or you can even take it down to your forearm if you need to. We got it here for 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Cut your breath here for a second. If you need to, you can go into that child's pose position right here. Inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouths. Catch your breath, and we have to do that again. So we're gonna do those two exercises again. So whenever you're ready, take your time coming on up. Meet me here at the bottom of your mat. Whew. Can I get thumbs up if you're doing okay? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, so we're here at the end of our mat. Once again, we're walking it out until we're in that plank. If you don't wanna do that push up, you don't have to. You can just hold it here at that plank. Walk your hands back on up, okay? So you have another option. If you don't wanna do that push up, you don't have to. You can just hold it here and then walk those hands back on up. Whenever you're ready, you got 10. Go ahead and start.
Good, let's do four more. Holding that plank or doing that push up. We got two more right here. Two more, two more. You guys gotta hold that plank or give me that push up. We're at that last one. Whenever you're here at the bottom, just hold that plank. We're holding that plank. Good, we're either on our knees or on our toes. 30 seconds. If you're not in that high plank, go ahead and take it to that high plank on your toes. And we're gonna rock those toes forward and back. We're gonna do it for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last one, two, and one. Take it into that child's pose. Sitting our glutes on our heels, arms are right in front of us. Good. Go ahead. Whenever you're ready, we're going to make our way back into all fours here. Okay, when we are here, those hips are squared, everything is stacked on top of each other. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put our weight all on one leg and all on one arm. So we're gonna shift over to the side, we're gonna turn that hip out to the wall. Okay, we're turning that hip out to the side. Perfect, taking your time, finding your balance. Perfect. Whenever you're here, just go ahead and hold that movement. Let's just try to get comfortable here in that movement. Perfect. What we're going to do now, we're going to extend that hand over our head, and we're going to bring that knee and elbow together. Bringing that knee and elbow together. Good. Let's do it for 10. Good. If you need to, you can bring that leg all the way back down to the ground then come up, okay? If you need to, you can bring that leg all the way down and then up. Let's do it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we're taking it back to all fours. Okay. We're catching our breaths. Okay, what we do to one side, we gotta do to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna switch it over to that opposite side, bringing all that weight into that opposite leg and arm, finding our balance, lifting that arm and leg up. You can hold it here, okay? Whew, even I'm wobbly, y'all. Okay, you can hold it here. If you feel comfortable here, go ahead and extend that arm over your head, bringing that knee and elbow together. If not, you can just hold it here in that other position where we just started. Okay, we're here for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Ooh, my leg is shaking, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Nice job. Taking it back down. Nice job, you guys. Catch your breath, go into that child's pose. We're gonna do that again, okay? Whenever you're ready, we're taking it back on all fours. Just go ahead and meet me here when you're ready. This is your class, I'm at your pace, okay? So just let me know when you're ready by just coming on all fours. We're inhaling through our nose and exhaling out through our mouth. Drawing that belly button to our spine, back is flat. Keeping those hips square, we're gonna go ahead and lift one leg up, bringing all that weight to one side. And we're gonna shift that weight to one hand and one leg. 
and finding our balance, keeping those hips square to that wall in front of you. Perfect, you can either hold it here if you feel comfortable, we're taking that arm up and over our heads and then bringing that knee and elbow together. Three, four, five, good. Six, you guys are doing great, keep it going. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna keep that leg up, we're gonna pulse and pulse, pulse, pulse. We got for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Catch your breath. Hey, we gotta do that opposite side now. Switching over, bringing all that weight to one side, one leg, one arm. We're perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and find our balance. Lifting that arm off of the ground. Whenever you are comfortable, go ahead, bring that arm overhead. Meet your knee and elbow together. Five, four, good. Three, two, and one. We're holding that leg up. Pulse it out right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back down. Take it into that child's pose. Taking nice deep inhales, inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth. We're gonna work on our back here. So whenever you're ready, we're taking it all the way down to the floor. So for our next exercise, we're gonna just focus on lifting the chest off of the ground. And we're gonna keep our legs on the ground. So what it's gonna look like, it's gonna look like just like this. Those arms are at a V. And we're just gonna lift that chest off the ground as high as you can go, okay? And let's go, we're gonna do it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one, perfect. So we are right here and we're gonna just rest our head on our hands and we're gonna work our hamstring. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna lift that leg up. We're gonna have that foot flex, point, flex, take it back down. Flex, point, flex, back down. Alternate, point, flex, back down. Flex, point, flex, back down. Flex, point, flex, back down. We're gonna do it for two. We got nine more. Eight more. Flex, point, and flex. Flex, point, and flex. We got seven, flex. Point and flex. Flex, point and flex. We're at six, keep it going. Flex, point, flex. Gotta hit for five. We got four more. Three more. Two more, we're almost done. Last one on both sides. Flex, flex, point, and flex. 
Okay, we're taking it back into that back exercise. This time, we're going to do V. We're gonna come down, we're gonna go T. We're gonna rotate those palms to the ceiling. And then we're also gonna lift that chest up. So once again, we're doing V, T, and W. V, T, and W, okay? Whenever you guys are ready, let's go ahead and start. We got it for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, you're going at your own pace. We're breathing as we're coming back down to that mat. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one. Woo. And one. Ooh. Go ahead, catch your breath right here. Okay, perfect, you guys. We're taking it back to flex, point, and flex. Flex, point, and flex. Don't forget to alternate those legs. Flex, point, flex. Flex, point, flex. Flex, point, flex. Good, keep it going. Flex, point, flex. We're at six. Let's do four more. Four. Five. Oops, wrong way. Three. Sorry, y'all. Two. Last one on both sides. Perfect. Take it down to the floor. We're going to roll onto our back. We're here on our back, making sure that back is flat. So we're just going to tuck that pelvis under, making sure that belly button is to our spine here. Arms are right by our side. We're bringing those legs up at tabletop. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tap one leg down to the ground, taking it back up. Okay, we're right here. Inhale with both legs up. Exhale as you bring one leg down to your mat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, last one on both sides right here, one. Perfect, we're gonna bring both legs down. We're gonna do a glute bridge right here. We're just gonna lift those hips up, squeeze that glute at the top, arms are right by your side, pushing off the heels of your feet. Go ahead and start. We're gonna do it for 12. Six, so we're halfway there. We got three more. Two, last one, and one. We're gonna hold those hips up, squeeze that glute at the top. We're gonna do it for 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take those hips back down to the ground. Okay, we're going back to that first exercise. Once again, that back is flat on the ground. Legs are up at tabletop. We're engaging that core. We're tapping one leg down to the ground and then alternating. We're gonna do 10 more right here, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, the last one on both sides, one. Nice job, bringing both legs down. Arms are right by our side. Our feet are on the ground. We're gonna focus on pushing through our heels, keeping that uh, pelvis tuck. We're gonna lift those hips up, squeeze that glute. We got it here for 12. Three, two, and one. We're keeping those hips up, squeezing that glute. We got it here for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back down. Hey, you guys, that is it for today. We're gonna take it back into that child's pose. So go ahead and turn back over. Taking it into that child's pose. Arms are right in front of us. Or finding a comfortable position for you. Inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouths. While you're here, go ahead and walk both hands over to the left as far as you can go. Feel that stretch in your obliques. Perfect, go ahead and walk those arms back to the center. And then we're gonna take it to the right. Once again, as far as you can go. Taking it back to center. Good, we're gonna feed one arm through under the other. Taking that arm back to center and we're switching it. Bringing that arm back to center, we're gonna take it into a cobra. So we're just gonna extend at the legs, lifting our chest up, Stretching out our core. We're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna push those hips back, 
Go back into that child's pose. We're gonna do that two more times. And then we're gonna extend those legs, going into that cobra. Taking your time as you move through that movement. You can go at a faster pace than me, or if you need to hold it at one position, feel free to. Perfect. We're going to take it here to all fours. We're just going to bring one leg through in between our hands, feeling that stretch in our glutes. Walking those hands back up. We're bringing that leg back down to starting position. We're gonna switch legs now, going into that pigeon pose on the opposite side. Take it back up onto all fours here. Lastly, you can just move freely through a cat and cow. You can move right and left. You can go into that cat and cow, that traditional cat and cow. Just really just trying to stretch out our back right here. Whatever feels comfortable to you. And whenever you're ready, just take it back to center and just meet me in your comfortable position on your mat. Well, that's all that I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed today's class. So, yes, no problem. Y'all did awesome. <laughs>